If you're struggling to drop body fat and achieve your goals, this video is for you. I was like you before, struggling, unsure of how to lose body fat, then using these tips, it all clicked. As you can see here on the screen, I've achieved 10% body fat and below. Let's waste none of your time and jump right into it with my first tip. So first off, you have to go all in on your goal. And this doesn't mean you need to starve yourself. This doesn't mean you only need to eat chicken and broccoli. This just means your goal needs to take priority over other things. Perhaps you're out at a family event, Thanksgiving, pumpkin pie comes around, you have the calories to fit in one slice, and you wanna go grab a second. This is where you need to place your goal higher than your quick desire to have a second slice of pumpkin pie. Or you're bored at night, this is where a lot of people go wrong. You need to remember your goal, stick to your macros, and actually make sure you're in a deficit, and be stronger than that short-term desire to have something extra fun and tasty. And really making sure your goal takes priority over your short-term pleasures. And I know this sounds like a simplification, but this alone will get you to your goals more than anything else. And if you actually wanna get shredded, you wanna get down to 10% body fat, it will take willpower. And the great news is, this is something that can be built up over time by being consistent and building discipline. Number two, which is like an addition of number one here. So 1.5 slash two, we'll call it somewhere in there. But it's understanding this won't necessarily be easy. It will be hard. Getting somewhere you've never been, you need to do something you've never done. It's gonna be uncomfortable, it's gonna be new, it's gonna be an adjustment. All those examples I just listed are uncomfortable situations. It's not fun, it's going against perhaps what you've always done. It will be difficult to order the more healthy, higher protein item uh, than to just get exactly whatever you want, whenever you want, in whatever quantity you want. Oftentimes, indicate you're in a deficit, an easy rule of thumb, is if you think of a satiety scale, that's just a fancy way of saying how full you are. If you think of being full, being satisfied and being hungry, you should be just below satisfaction. Whereas we're used, especially if we have a higher body fat, to being above this mark and being an unhealthy range. And that's probably why you've been putting on fat and why you're not where you want to be. So you're gonna to need to learn to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Next habit you're gonna need is to actually start tracking your calories. So I've already alluded to this as well, but this is gonna guarantee and really take away the wishfulness from our goal of losing body fat, and this is instead gonna turn it into a science. So what you're gonna do is download a tracking app. I use MyFitnessPal, I have no affiliations with them, but it's just the one I've used. I know that there's other apps like Lose It. Google it, find one you like, go with them. Um, I definitely recommend not paying for a premium version because it's overly expensive and the free one will do just fine. As you can see here, I have a streak of like almost 800 days. I've been lifting over 11, 12 years now and I continue to use this app because it works. It takes out the guesswork, it makes a science and now I can actually know what my maintenance is and if I want to bulk, I'll eat in a surplus. If I want to cut, I'll eat below that maintenance. I can track my weight make sure I'm hitting my protein. It just, what gets tracked gets managed. And if you actually wanna see results, you gotta track it and be aware of it. So build this habit, track daily. Some bonuses here, if you wanna lose more fat and make the process easier, is pre-log your foods. Before you eat it, track it. Theoretically, if you tracked everything, hit your calories, and before you put it in your mouth, you always did this rule, you'd be guaranteed 110% to lose fat, but no one does this. Most people will eat what they want, then they'll smudge the numbers to make it fit within their MyFitnessPal. So if this is you, I'm calling you out, and this is something I want us to improve on. Another thing you can do past this is utilize a food scale, and be sure to actually measure out your foods and make sure the portions are as accurate as possible. Now the third one, because you know I'm all about flexible dieting and success, is actually over overlogging when you eat out. It's easy to log like a steak you have at a restaurant, it's just steak. Like you could do New York steak and you could have a nice number, it'd be lower-ish in fat, it's still a steak so it's gonna have some fat. But if you're getting that steak Chicago style, so they're using butter and oil on the sides and they're frying it all for you, you're gonna need to account for that. You're gonna need to log oil, you're gonna need to log butter. And if this sounds daunting, this is something you can improve with time, but I always like to overlog as opposed to underlog. And the reason I do this is I can always amend it. If I'm super hungry later in the day, more hungry than I should be, I know I probably messed up and I can adjust those numbers. But by doing this, it allows you to still have a social life, to still succeed, and uh, once again, to still lose fat and make your way towards 10% body fat. Number four is really being aware of your protein. By prioritizing protein, you're gonna be more full, more satisfied, and you're gonna actually have more energy during the day. It's also gonna assist you in building new muscle, and it's also gonna help you 
assist you in maintaining muscle as you lose fat. So protein is kind of the fix all for all this. And if you're looking to be lean, utilizing protein is the easiest way to do it. I love the example of if you have a big salad with a ton of chicken, you're gonna be really stuffed, it's gonna be really voluminous, and it's gonna be really low cal. Whereas if you go out and get a Big Mac meal, it's not gonna really fill you very much. The macros are gonna be horrible and you're gonna feel bad after. So you can improve your food quality, prioritize protein. If you're unsure of where to start, the easiest metric to work towards is one gram per body weight. That is a very, very vast simplification, but this is something you can look to improve in the future. Before I give you my fifth tip, if you wanna get guaranteed results, I'm an online fitness coach myself. I have over 4,000 transformations and I have spots available and I would love to help you get to this goal. And like I said, it's fully guaranteed. So when you sign up with me, you know you're getting your results, you're taking the gas workout, I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do. If you wanna learn more about what I do as an online coach, first link down below, no obligation, you can learn about how it works and why you should get started. Uh, if this is you and you're serious about change, fill out that form, let me change your life for you. My next biggest tip to get lean is daily walks. Nice, simple lift, so that's low intensity, steady state cardio, has been amazing for me. I'll listen to podcasts, I'll just breathe in some air, I get some time in nature, and walking in and of itself is actually regenerative. That means it's not gonna take a lot of energy from you, if anything, it's gonna help you feel more refreshed. I love the adage, motion is lotion, getting blood flow to your body. Stu McGill, the leading back health expert, actually said that walking is the best thing you can do for your back health. So if you're not walking, get out there and do it for a multitude of reasons, but of course, from a fat loss perspective, getting some movement in, getting some low intensity, say, say cardio, that isn't gonna take away from your lifts, is a fantastic way to get some more activity in so you can actually burn some more fat. Next up is to actually just keep as many stats as possible. For me, I don't weigh in once a week, I weigh in every single day, so I can utilize an average of my weigh-ins, as you can see here in my spreadsheet. I track all my protein and calories, as you can see here in my spreadsheet. And the reason I do this is it really gives me a straight up example of whether I'm succeeding towards my goals or whether I'm falling away. And if you wanna to get to 10% body fat, which is respectably lean, especially on an accurate measure like a DEXA, it will take some sacrifice, it will take some discipline, and this is what it's gonna take, is tracking your data. Some additional things I do is I'll take photos, of course, to gauge progress, because it's hard day to day to see my progress in the mirror, and I also do my measurements every single month, because the data doesn't lie. And I don't over rely on any one set of this data, I utilize a multitude of it to get a really good picture of whether I'm pushing myself forward or falling backwards. Last but not least, the habit you'll need is to actually have time frames for all this. You know, you need to know when to tra transition out because if you diet yourself to oblivion, you're gonna feel really sucked dry, you're gonna get no pumps, you're gonna feel depleted, you're gonna be really moody and just hard to deal with. And that is not what you wanna do. You wanna learn about these high level strategies like reverse diets, refeeds, tools you can have in your arsenal, especially diet breaks and timing, just to make sure you're not dieting for oblivion. Because when you actually diet in set periods of times and you have goals and you actually understand, I need to lose 1.2 pounds a week to get to my goal, it makes it a lot more bite-sized and realistic than when there's no end in sight. And by having these tools and knowing you can reverse, knowing you're gonna enter maybe a lean bulk later in the future, it just makes it a lot easier to follow through. And if you want help with this, this is all things I do for you. You have other things to worry about. Let me do the hard work. I will give you the exact instructions you need to succeed similar to this video but those are the seven tips that have got me to 10% body fat and have kept me there if this did help you please make sure to smash that like button subscribe to my channel I upload every Monday and Wednesday at 4 p.m. myself and Kyle just want to thank you for tuning in today knowledge is only power when applied so get out there and apply this knowledge let's get it